Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be putting pigtails in Stasi, and I'm gonna show you how I am doing that. Now, I've already cleaned and dried her face, so she is um, at that stage right now. If you would like to see that video, you can check on the daily morning routine, and it shows you exactly how I clean and dry her face every morning. So we've already done that, so now it's time to either put a top knot in or her pigtails, and we are going to be doing pigtails today. So the first um, thing is to get all of your supplies together, and I'm gonna show you what I have gathered up. You will need a five inch face comb, and this is a Chris Christensen butter comb. You will need two one quarter inch rubber bands. These are the Armco Fox. These are just the kind that I use, but um, any quarter inch orthodontic band or latex free band will work. So you'll need two of those. And then you will need two 5 16 bands. And these are the Ormco Penguin um, orthodontic bands. So these are my bands that I use, but um, like I said, you can use any bands that you like. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is um, get her straight on her grooming pillow. And I always use a grooming pillow for everything that I do up here on the grooming table. And then we are going to um, make sure that all of the hair that is going to go in the pigtails is going to be up on top of her head. I made a line across her eyes and then that is the hair that is the hair that goes back onto her forehead. And this is kind of a weird angle for me to be working right now so hopefully um, you guys can see and I will be able to do this straight because I'm kind of on at an angle. All right, so for pigtails, you're going to want to make a part down the center of her forehead. And you can make that part by just going up from where the nose is all the way back. Okay, put your head down, baby. Okay. All right, so now that we have our part, I am going to start on my right and I'm going to section off a little section here about halfway and then I'm going to go by the corner of her eye, making sure not to put her eyelashes in because she's got those long eyelashes and I'm going to just pull up a little section here. So from the corner of her eye and then about halfway from the section that we pulled back in the first place. I'm going to use a one quarter inch band and I'm going to wrap that around two times. Making sure that this is not too tight so you want to have um, some slack in there. Okay, now we're going to go to the other side and at the same section where we kind of parted that first section, we're going to part this section here and we're going to grab this hair and then we're going to comb up by the corner, the outer corner. Oops, come here. That was Paris. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so sorry about that. So then you're going to corner, you're going to comb up by the corner of her eye, this section here. And you want to kind of hold it out to the side a little bit so that your pigtails are not straight up and down like this. So you kind of want to hold it to the side when you put your band in. So once you have your little section and you have it kind of loose there, you're going to take your second quarter inch band and you're going to wrap that two times. Making sure again that we are not too tight. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is grab my bows and I am using the tiny, the tiny ties bows from Doggy Bow Ties. These are my favorite bows for pigtails. 
I just think they're so cute with the little bow in the center. Um, little 5 8 puppy bows will work as well, but my favorite in pigtails are these tiny ties. Okay, so then we are going to take both bands around my fingers here. I use both of them. Um, they say you could use just one, but to me, I like using both because the other band kind of gets in my way. <clears throat> Okay, so then you're gonna take your pigtail and just wrap that bow around, and then you're gonna situate your bow underneath the bands that we just put in. Then you're gonna do the same thing on this side, making sure that the bands are straight and that they sit underneath the little bands that you put in for the top knot. Okay, the next part of doing pigtails is we are going to take the next section and we're gonna continue on our center part and you're gonna part all the way back to the back of the head with this next section. Then you're gonna put take your comb and you're going to pull up a section that is at the same width as the outer corner of her eye and then up to the center part that we just parted. You're gonna grab that section of hair and you're gonna combine it with this first top knot. So you're gonna hold both of those together. Then you're going to take your 5 16 band and grabbing right above where the other bands are, you are going to wrap once and twice and three times, which holds the bow in place and makes that nice little section here. Now you're gonna notice that this pulled this way too tight and we're gonna fix that in just a minute. But what I do is I go to the next side first and get this band secured in before she shakes her head and moves it all over the place. So we're gonna pull up from our center part again. And this is not perfect. I am on an angle which makes it more difficult for me because I'm trying to film this um, to where you guys can see, but I am on an angle, so don't judge me. <laughs> the, the center part is a little off, but that's okay. Okay, so then we, we did the same thing on this side. We went to the back of her head, and then from the center part, and then over here, around the same width as your first top, next, top knot section, and grab that along with the first top knot hair, and then we are taking the second 5 16th bow, holding your fingers close to the band and wrapping it three times. Okay. All right, now that looks really cute. However, it's a little tight on her eyes. So the next thing that I do is I pull out, whoops, sorry about that. The next thing that I do is pull out my rat tail comb, and this is by Chris Christensen as well, and it has the little point. And some people use the point to make their, um, their parts, but I just do it with my butter comb. But what I like this for is I take the point here to loosen up this band, um, this top knot here. So I just hold this area right below the bow and gently just tug on this side, in the middle, and on the right side to loosen that up so that she's not having her eyeballs pulled up because that is not fun. And then we're gonna go to this side. So again, holding your hand or your finger right by that bow you just gently pull the hair out. You wanna make sure that you do it gently so that you don't ruin your top knot that you, or your pigtails that you just put in. We're gonna go in the middle and then we're gonna do another little section 
right here on the inner corner. All right, so that is how we put pigtails in. And I think she looks really cute. I love her in pigtails. Are we still a little tight? Let's see, and if it's a little tight, we can come back. Sometimes you don't know until they open their eyes. If they look like they are a deer in headlights, then it's too tight. You should not be able to see the whites of their eyes when they are looking at you. So, unless that is how their eyes are, but her eyes don't have any white in the eyes when she is just normal looking at me. So I know that if I see white in her eyes, then her top knot or her pigtail is a little bit too tight. So we just adjust that until we get it right to where it's not too tight. All right, so that concludes this video and she looks really, really cute. Let's see if she'll look at the camera. Stassi, you wanna show everybody how you look? She's being very nosy right now. She's being very nosy. Here we go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.